A 67-year-old woman presented with severe jaundice due to tumor infiltration of the biliodigestive anastomosis, which was performed one year before, after right hemihepatectomy, cholecystectomy, resection of the hepatic bifurcation, and consecutive biliodigestive anastomosis in adenocarcinoma of the proximal bile duct and infiltration of the right hepatic duct, Klatskin type 3A. Abdominal ultrasound showed a tumor mass at the level of the anastomosis and a dilation of the left intrahepatic ducts. Positioned at the level of the cardia, endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, confirmed the dilation of the left hepatic ducts. To avoid any interposed vessel, color Doppler was used to prevent the risk of hemobilia. Now, a 19-gauge EUS FNA needle was inserted into the endoscope. The initial puncture of a central part of the left intrahepatic duct under EUS control failed, demonstrated in EUS by air artifacts in the parenchyma and in fluoroscopy by injection of the contrast medium into the parenchyma. The second puncture was successful with the tip of the needle within the duct and a typical fluoroscopic image of the intrahepatic ducts during the injection of the contrast media. Now the guide wire is introduced and the needle removed, seen in EUS and fluoroscopy. The insertion of a stent without dilation of the fistula in the gastric wall is often impossible. Therefore, we normally use a cystotome to open only the strong muscle layer of the stomach in endocut mode. Any coagulation of the liver parenchyma should be avoided to reduce the artifacts in the EUS image. After fistulation of the wall, the passage into the liver and the duct is easy. EUS shows the cystotome within the left hepatic duct. Now, a covered self-expanding metal stent is inserted and the distal end is opened under fluoroscopic control. In the next step, the endoscope has to be pulled back to fully open the stent in the gastrointestinal lumen. As a result, the expanded stent is visible in EUS and in endoscopy.
Now the introducer and the guide wire have to be removed. In this case, a very rare complication happened with a knot in the distal part of the guide wire. With a strong pull maneuver, the guide wire can finally be retracted. Within several days, the jaundice improved and the abdominal ultrasound control showed typical aerobilia in the liver and the metal stent.